What was your greatest effort, I'll do it myself moment? I met Eric at a frat party and we hit it off almost instantly thanks to the amount of drinks we had. He was really cute and I wanted to give him a shot. That's why I was devastated when I met up with him the next day. I realized I had a serious case of beer goggles because the Eric that was sitting in front of me in our campus cafeteria wasn't the Eric I had met at that party. He just felt weird to me. For instance, he was really big into anime, which would have been fine had it not been for him trying to make me record a TikTok with him saying, anime is an important part of our culture, and trying to get me to say, look at him tremble, he's going to burst a blood vessel because I dissed his waifu. I was cooked. He was insistent for a good five minutes before switching the conversation and aggressively asking me what classes I was taking, and making an entire schedule so that we could hang out every day. It got to a point where I couldn't take it anymore. So I politely told him that I didn't feel a spark and that we weren't a great match. Eric said he understood and I thought that was that. But the next day, I opened my dorm door and found Eric standing there. Now, I want to make it clear I had never told him where I lived. My dorm is one of those where you need an ID card to get into the building, so I had no idea how he'd gotten in. And from the way he was smiling and saying he was going to walk me to class, he clearly didn't see how creepy this was. But I wasn't having it. I told him, I'm really not interested and I don't want to be friends either. I hope you can understand. He said he understood again but I kept seeing him everywhere after that. First it was around campus and I thought I was overreacting because it was a small campus. So it wasn't creepy that he was in the library at the same time I was. It wasn't creepy that I'd go to grab lunch, and he'd bump into me at the campus cafe. I didn't even find it creepy when he'd see me and say, I think we'd really make an amazing couple if you'd just give me a chance. I thought he was just desperate. But when Eric suddenly appeared in one of my classes I knew I wasn't overreacting since he told me he was taking a completely different major than I was. This confirmed that this guy was full-blown stalking me. When I confronted him on it, he said he'd just changed his schedule and that this had nothing to do with me. But then he'd say that now we could walk to class together and hang out all the time, and joked about tricking me into liking him. He then took the opportunity to ask me out and when I said no, he said he was going to take that as a challenge to get me to change my mind. I looked at him in disgust and disbelief as he explained that I was playing hard to get, and was going to ignore my boundaries because he knew that eventually I would fall for him. He basically said this was okay for him to do, even though I found it insanely creepy. I went to the dean right after that conversation and told him that I was concerned for my safety. He told me, unfortunately, without concrete evidence I can't punish him. What I can do is have a security guard escort you to your dorm. But if you want me to do something about him, you're going to need proof. Proof? It wasn't like I'd been recording our conversations. I walked out of that office feeling frustrated and helpless, thinking that he wouldn't actually do anything. Luckily, the dean stuck by his word but somehow Eric managed to get past the security guard, I literally have no idea how. That's when I knew that I had to do things myself and get proof so that Eric would be dealt with. I ended up researching for a way to be recording all the time because nowadays girls should be protected from these creeps who think their behavior is okay, and I knew there was something that would help them. That's when I saw Tana Monjo talk about an app called, Reclip that allows people to record audio at all times on a two-minute loop. Basically if someone says something and you want to capture it, it would let you. And I figured, this was the way out. If Eric was going to keep popping up, maybe I could catch him saying something that would prove he wasn't just casually bumping into me. So I downloaded it and let it do its magic. Unfortunately, I didn't have to wait long for him to approach me since he was outside my dorm building one day. He immediately told me, it's cute how you always leave your lights on until midnight. My stomach dropped. How did he know that? I was panicking internally, but I kept calm and let him keep talking, since Reclip could save up to two minutes of audio. He then followed it up by saying, sorry I know that sounds weird, I followed you back to the dorms the other day just to make sure you got back safely. I was so freaked out I was sure I wasn't going to make it out of this alive. I was already picturing my face on a missing poster, but I knew that the dean would take action if he knew I was speaking to Eric, so I asked, Eric, why'd you do that? And he replied, because you're meant for me, my name, and I want to protect what's mine. That was it. I walked away and though I was shaking heavily and could feel him staring at me, I immediately reclipped the audio. Then, I went straight to the dean's office with the proof. He looked unsettled and shocked as he listened to the recording. Luckily, he assured me he would take action. I didn't see Eric again after that, but I made sure to have the reclip app open at all times in case this ever happened again. I've also made all my dorm mates download it because it's a crazy world out there. And luckily this has been helping me feel comfortable on campus again. Now, whenever I see someone cute at a party, I'm a lot more careful before handing over my number. And if they start sprouting some anime BS I'm out the door.